There's a place of repentance, repentance for the remission of sin. You repent, you change the way you think. I was living for me, now I'm not. Amen. I was the sole attention and focus of my life, now I'm not. Amen. It's simple, repentance. Amen. On the day they crucified Jesus and he raised from the dead and then Pentecost came and Peter preached and said, you killed the Son of God, Pilate was going to let him go, you had a murder of Barabbas released. And, and they were cut to the heart and they said, what should we do? Men and brethren, what should we do? We're cut to the heart, right? There's a day of Pentecost, remember? Acts 2. He said, repent. Amen. What's he saying? They were just judged guilty of the death of the Son of God. That's a pretty like, <gasps> come on. You get a charge against you from a major court, and it's like something small. It gets you nervous, right? People think, oh, my God. I can't believe oh. The Son of God, death, Son of God, murder. You just killed the Son of God. <gasps> Holy Spirit shone light on his words, and they went, <gasps> and they saw it. They realized that they had the blood of Jesus on their hands. Now imagine the horror of that in your soul. They go, oh my God, what do we do? Thinking it's hopeless. We killed, we killed our hope. Guess what he said? Just wish you didn't. Get baptized and you're in. Just be his kids. But we killed him. Yeah, but you wish you didn't, so you're no longer the person that did. So come on in and be the family. See why guilt, condemnation, and stuff is such a lie? Yeah, but I did this. Yeah, and it's breaking your heart. So come on. Why are you wearing the identity? You're a brand new person. The person I'm talking to didn't even do that. Yeah, yeah but. Yeah, but nothing. Rejoice. The gospel's changed your heart. That's regret. That's regret. It produces death. Godly sorrow leads to repentance. It changes you. It vindicates you. It clears you in the matter. 2 Corinthians 7. Come on. This is clear gospel. It's the remission of sin. 